Hi, I thought that we would have a change of scenery today <laughs> uh, because we are talking about building a balanced plate. Let's get out of these sun rays a little bit. Um, I thought it might be kind of fun to change up the scenery. We're in the kitchen talking about food. So I felt like it was maybe something different and fun. So before we jump into it, how's everybody's week going so far? It's Wednesday, halfway there, it's hump day, and I don't know about you, but it's been a pretty, pretty good week. Nothing too crazy to report, but I'd love to hear what you are working on this week. If you have any specific goals that you're working on right now, because Friday's coming. Friday's when we celebrate the wins. So whatever it is that you're maybe thinking about right now, set an actionable goal. So if you're thinking, oh, I wanna drink more water. No, let's turn that into an actionable goal. I will drink a big glass of water first thing when I wake up or whatever you wanna do to make it something that you can actually take action on, okay? Deal? So whatever it is that you're thinking that you're working on, make it an actionable goal. Okay, yesterday, hey Heather, glad you're here. If you, if you didn't catch it at the beginning, I said, why not change up the scenery today? It's gonna be a little bit shorter of a video, so I thought it would be kind of fun to be in the kitchen while we're talking about building a balanced plate. So yesterday in the um, discussion question, I asked what sorts of things you guys like to meal prep. We got a lot of really awesome answers and that was really fun to look through what everybody likes to make. Thank you so much for sharing. And the reason why I asked that is to get you thinking about what you currently make and maybe how we can make it a little bit more balanced if it needs to be. So let's jump right in. Building a balanced plate, specifically kind of thinking about managing your weight or weight loss, or really just kind of having satisfaction and a nice filling meal without it being very high calories. I, I, and you know, it kind of depends on the, your goal, right? Like if you want, if you're trying to gain weight, then of course we want to focus on increasing your calories, but we can save that for another video. So when I mean a balanced plate, that means balancing the different macronutrients and the different food groups. So if you are not already familiar, or if you are, this will be a nice little reminder or a recap. We have three macronutrients, carbohydrates, protein, and fat, and they all do something different for your body. If you are not already on my email list and you haven't gotten my video where it's like an exclusive video training where I talk about the different macros. If you want that, let me know. I can send you the link. But your three main macros, carbohydrates, protein, and fat, we want a balance of all of them so that your body actually gets a little bit of everything and can have a nice satisfying meal that actually fills you up, that gives you energy, that keeps that energy going for a while, right? Because all the macronutrients do something different. When we're thinking about maybe like the traditional American plate, if you will, here's our plate. <laughs> Probably it's like half protein, half starchy carb. If we're thinking about like steak and mashed potatoes or um, chicken and what, what would we have a chicken? Mac and cheese. But you can kind of see how even if there are vegetables on that plate, probably not very many. For most, you know, if we're thinking about like generalizing, for if we think about like when you're served at a restaurant, kind of the proportions, right? So when we're talking about a balanced plate, we want to rework those proportions so that you're getting a lot of really good nutrition, but it's also satisfying for you. So here's our new plate. I want half of the plate to be color or your non-starchy vegetables. Okay, so that's where we get a lot of fiber, that's where we get a lot of vitamins and minerals, and if you're trying to lose weight, that's where you wanna be eating a lot of so that you feel fill up and feel full with it still being low calories, okay? So we've got half of the plate being color. We want a quarter of the plate to be your starchy carbohydrate 
whether that's a starchy vegetable like potatoes or corn or um, a whole grain like brown rice, quinoa, whatever, or maybe that's where you put your mashed potatoes or maybe that's where you put your mac and cheese. But instead of it being such a big proportion of your plate, we really want to kind of keep it to a quarter of the plate. Then the other quarter is going to be where your protein is. So we, of course, always want to make sure you have protein with each meal so that you actually get that blood sugar control, carbs plus protein makes not only an energizing meal and snack, but also a satisfying one that helps to manage your blood sugar. So we always wanna make sure you get protein with your meal. And especially if you're trying to lose weight, then having protein helps to preserve your muscle so that the weight that you're losing is coming from fat and not muscle, right? That's a huge component here. So. We can call this our balanced plate. Now we've got veggies, carbs, protein. And we want, of course, a little bit of healthy fats in there, but that might be sprinkled a little bit on top or on the side, depending on what we're doing for healthy fats. Okay, so that's how we have a more balanced plate. Now, if we're thinking about, oh, you might be thinking like, okay, well, that's great, but not all meals fit perfectly into that little proportion, right? Maybe I'm having a casserole or a stir fry or whatever it is, it doesn't exactly fit into that proportion. So instead of thinking I have to have this pie chart, let's think about it more about the ratios. So let's use the example of a stir fry. So if you're having, if we're thinking about, okay, we've got veggies, carbs, protein, in a stir fry, that means we want a lot of stir fried veggies with the protein in there and then you can have rice, but the proportion is might be a little bit smaller. So you're filling up more on the veggies rather than filling up on a whole bunch of rice. See how we can kind of rework the proportions for whatever meal you're having so that it's balanced and it's satisfying and it's still filling. Okay, so that's why we want to have all the components. If we do not have a balanced meal, meaning let's say only mac and cheese for dinner or only pasta with sauce and no protein. See, that doesn't create, not only are you not giving your body all the nutrition that it needs, but you're probably gonna, number one, feel really full in the moment, but maybe an hour or so later get hungry again because there's no protein. So if you wanna think of your checklist for a balanced plate, we need to make sure there's veggies, need to make sure there's a carbohydrate, and make sure that there's a protein, okay? Now, if we're thinking about in terms of um, maybe a more nutritious meal, rather than a, a big plate of mac and cheese, we can think of that as, you know, having your chicken and broccoli and asparagus, or and sweet potatoes, or it could be salmon, and asparagus and brown rice. See how you can kind of use these components to mix and match different healthy balanced meals. But if even if you are having mac and cheese, there's absolutely nothing wrong with having mac and cheese. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that we wanna make sure it's balanced and in correct proportions, especially if you're trying to fit it in to help you get towards your goal, whether it's you know, a fat loss or, you know, weight loss, muscle building, whatever the goal is. So in order to have all of the proportions, we need to make sure you have the color on there too. The color is meaning the vegetables because that's where you get fiber and that's where you get filled up from. Now we want to kind of carry this over into other meals. I know we're talking mostly about like lunches and dinners, but it does carry over for breakfast. Maybe not in exactly the same proportions, but you can think of those three components as providing you the, the framework to having a balanced meal. Color, carbs, and protein. So if we're thinking of um, a well, breakfast, let's say, what's a good example? All right, so maybe you're having two eggs and a piece of toast. All right, well, you've got protein and you've got carbs, we need some color. So either add in there some fruit 
or maybe make it an egg scramble with some veggies in there instead. Because they're not only getting color where you're getting the vitamins and minerals, but you're also getting the fiber. That's what fills you up more, okay? Or maybe that's um, like a Greek yogurt parfait. We've got Greek yogurt. Maybe you have some, oh, I know a better one, overnight oats. So we want the Greek yogurt, there's our protein, the oats, there's our carbohydrate, and then maybe put some berries in there, there's our color and our fiber. And then for the healthy fats, maybe you have some peanut butter in there too. So those are the components we wanna have for a balanced plate, sweet and simple. Think about your proportions when you're building your dinner tonight. And maybe comment, no, put a post in the group if you can carry these proportions of a balanced plate over into your dinner tonight. I would love to see that. I think that would be so fun. So just to recap, we got your plate, half color, meaning vegetables or fruit, quarter carbs, quarter protein, and you will be set, all ready to go for a healthy, balanced, satisfying meal that can help you lose weight. Okay. Any questions? I know we've got four people watching, which is awesome. Thank you for being here. What questions do you have that I can answer for you live? It doesn't even have to be specifically about this topic if you have a specific question you wanna ask. <laughs> I'll wait just a couple minutes. I won't waste any of your guys' time. But if you're watching this as the replay and you're like, oh, I have a question, put it in the comments. You know I'll get to it. And if anybody has any specific topics you'd like to learn about, let me know and I'll be sure to cover it. All right, y'all have a great night and I will see you next week.